Hello everyone. So in this lesson video, I will be now be discussing the electron configuration, a topic in general chemistry one. Okay, so ito po ay subject na tinitake ng STEM for grade 11 senior high school STEM students. And let's begin our lesson. So let us talk about electron configuration. Okay. So what is an electron configuration? Pag sinabi po natin electron configuration, this is the arrangement of electrons in energy levels around an atomic nucleus. So ibig sabihin, ipapakita natin kung paano ba nadidistribute ang mga electrons ng isang element around its atomic nucleus. So the electron configuration, meron tayong arrangement or fixed arrangement ng electron configuration na tutulungan tayo maintindihan or maki, uh, ma, para malaman natin how electrons are distributed around the atomic nucleus. So you can see this pattern or this arrangement sa inyong mga periodic table of elements. So you have 1s, 2s, 2p, 3s, 3p, and so on hanggang 7s. So, pwede pa po ito lumagpas hanggang 7S pero for the sake of discussion, hanggang 7S, 7S lang po muna tayo ngayon. Okay po. So, how do we do this? So, as you can see here, may makikita kayo na parang mga exponent-like numbers. For example, this two here, para sa S, okay? And then you have also 6 para sa P. You have 10 for D. And you have 14 for F. So what are these S, P, T, F? They are what we call orbitals. They are the ones that contains the electrons. Okay? Or tiyatawag din natin silang mga subshells. So for S, P, D, F, the numbers 2, 6, 10, and 14, these are the maximum number of electrons that an orbital can contain. So for S orbital, maximum lang na kaya niyang I-contain ay 2 electrons, for p orbitals, 6 electrons, for d orbital, 10 electrons, and for f orbital is 14 electrons. Pwedeng less than their maximum number, wag lang lalagpas sa maximum. So how do we use electron configuration? So for example, we have here a configuration of 2p4. Itong malaking number na ito na ito na parang coefficient, this tells us the number of energy level. The P here is the orbital. And 4, you exponent-like number, tells us the number of electrons. So para mas, ma para mas maintindihan natin, let's have an example. Let's say we have the element of carbon. The atomic number of carbon is 6. It means that carbon has six protons in its LA nucleus. And at the same time, if we're going to consider carbon as a neutral atom, it means that it also has six electrons surrounding the nucleus. So we are after the number of electrons. So the total number of electrons for carbon is six. So una, isusulat muna natin yung first configuration which is 1s. So we write 1s. We can maximize two electrons for the s orbital of 1s. So we write 2. Followed by 2s. So you write 2s. Still, you can maximize two electrons for s orbital of 2s. So you write 2. So, so far, this two numbers here, yung parang mga exponents, ito yung i-add natin. So, ang sum ng 2 plus 2 is 4. So, ibig sabihin, so far, meron na tayong 4 electrons. Ang kailangan natin ay 6. So, we will still be needing 2 more electrons. So, after writing 1s2, 2s2, we write now 2p. We know that p orbital can contain up to a maximum number of six electrons. 
But since kailangan na lang natin ay two electrons, we don't have to write six here. Kasi nga, dalawa na lang kailangan. So, we only write two. Pwede siya. Kahit less than the maximum value, which is six, wag lang lalagpas. And two lang kasi two na lang yung kailangan natin na bilang ng electrons. So, that means, ito lang po yung electron configuration ng element of carbon. 1s2, 2s2, and 2p2. So this is the electron configuration of carbon. Now, let us proceed with the atomic structure. Ibig sabihin, with the help of electron configuration, we will be able to construct the atomic structure of the element carbon. So as you can see here, ang pinakamalaking number na makikita natin dito doon sa mga coefficient-like numbers ay 2. Ito po. Ibig sabihin, carbon has 2 energy levels. So start natin ang pag-construct ng atomic structure. Una, gawa tayo ng pinaka-nucleus ng ating element. So I draw here a circle with the chemical symbol at the middle. So this will be our nucleus for the element carbon. As we've said, meron po siyang two energy levels. One. Okay. So for the first energy level, ito yung 1s2. Meaning, for the first energy level, that is one, you have two electrons. So you have one, two. At the second energy level, parehong 2s2 at 2p2. So all we have to do is to simply add this 2 plus 2 here. That means on the second energy level, you have a total of 4 electrons. As you can see, all in all, the total number of electrons now is equal to 6 electrons. So this is the atomic structure of the element carbon. Next naman po ay i-co-construct natin ang atomic structure ng element sulfur which has uh, may atomic number na 16. So ibig sabihin, 16 protons in its nucleus and at the same time, if we're going to consider this as a neutral atom or element, meron din siyang 16 electrons. So let us now First, write the electron configuration. So, una, 1s1. So, we can still maximize this s orbital with two electrons. Followed by 2s and then still we can maximize the two electrons for s orbital of 2s. So, 2s2. Next to 2s is 2p. So we can maximize six electrons for p orbital of 2p. So, so far, we have two plus two plus six. We have 10 electrons already. So we still need six more, six more electrons kasi ang sulfur ay 16. So next to 2p, next configuration is 3s. So, we can maximize two electrons para sa s orbital ng 3s. So, 3s2. Next to 3p is 3p. Since so far, ang total na natin ay 12, ang kulang na lang natin therefore is 4 electrons. So, instead of writing 6, we only write 4. So, 2 plus 2 plus 6 plus 2 plus 4, the total is 16 electrons. So as you can see here, doon po sa mga coefficient-like numbers, big numbers, the highest value is 3. Meaning, sulfur will have 3 energy levels. So punta muna tayo sa nucleus. So this is the nucleus of our element sulfur. Punta tayo sa first energy level. For the first energy level, meron siyang dalawang electrons. And then, on the second energy level, you have 2s2 and 2p6. So, we add 
2 plus 6, that means on the second energy level of sulfur, we have 8 electrons. And then on the third energy level, you have 3s2 and 3p4. So we add 2 and 4. That means on the third energy level, we will be having 6 electrons. So this is now the atomic structure of sulfur with an atomic number 16. Let's now try iron. So ang atomic number po ng iron ay 26. So ibig sabihin may 26 protons sa kanyang nucleus and at the same time, 26 electrons surrounding the nucleus. So let us now write the electron configuration of iron. 1s, 2. 2s, 2. 2p, 6. So, so far, we have a total of 10 electrons. So, kailangan pa natin ng 16. Next to 2p, next configuration is 3s, 2. Followed by 3p, 6. Then followed by 4s, 2. So, all in all, meron na tayong 20 electrons. And next, you have 3D. Ang maximum ng D orbital ay 10, pero kailangan na lang natin ng 6, so we write 6. So, you have 1S2, 2S2, 2P6, 3S2, 3P6, 4S2, and 3D6. Now, as you can see here, the highest value to sa mga malaking number, the coefficient like numbers is 4. Meaning, iron will have four energy levels. So let us now draw the uh, atomic structure of iron. So you have the nucleus of the iron. On the first energy level, you have 1s2. So it means two electrons on the first energy level. On the second energy level, we have 2s2, 2p6. So total of eight electrons on the second energy level. On the third energy level, as you can see, you have 3s2 and 3p6. 3s2 and 3p6, so that means 8 electrons. Next to 3p6 is 4s2, the last energy level, the fourth energy level with 2 electrons. But then, we still have one more configuration, that is 3d6. So it means that babalik tayo sa third energy level and then we're going to add another six electrons at the third energy level. So we add six electrons to our third energy level. So all in all, meaning on the third energy level of iron, it has a total of two plus six plus six, a total of 14 electrons. So this is how we construct the atomic structure of elements with the help of electron configuration. So thank you very much for watching this lesson video discussing a topic in Chemistry 1 about electron configuration and constructing atomic structure. So see you again next time. Thank you very much and God bless everyone.